Here's part two. So in this one, we want to work out how much energy do we need to fully melt ice. Five kilograms of ice. In my last video, we worked out how much energy to go minus 20 up to naught just to start to melt it. This bit here is called the latent heat of fusion. Latent heat of T of fusion. The bonds are breaking. Water, right? You don't get water straight away from ice. It's like slush puppy in there, look. Half and half. Half chips, half rice. So we worked out in our last video, we need to go 210 kilojoules to go from minus 20 up to just to start to melt it. Now we want to go across that flat bit. So we need to th use a thing called latent heat diffusion. It's breaking the bonds down. Here's the formula. Q, energy, is going to be M mass times L. ML, my name is Morgan Lewis, isn't that funny? So L, the latent heat diffusion, and the latent heat diffusion for ice is 335 killer joules per kilogram. 335 killer. So to find how much energy you need to fully melt from there to there, I'm gonna go five times by 335. Don't forget the killer. I'm gonna be that. That gives me 1675 killer joules. That is to turn really five kilograms of water from ice into fully melted water. So the total amount of energy needed to go from minus 20 all the way up hill, all the way across to fully water is going to be 210 plus 1675. Up there, across there, thank you very much. The total amount of energy is going to be 1885 kilojoules. So if you've got five kilograms of ice at minus 20, you're going to need that amount of energy to fully melt it into water. Cool stuff over and out.